G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well today I just came across this brilliant idea and I think I might see if I can get this to happen. I would like Ranty and or Rude Eartha to have a crack at this. Well Ranty, Rude Eartha, there is a rare opportunity this week, the 15th of July. The orbital plane of the ISS will line up with the day-night Terminator for just a few days around the 15th of 2020. And at the because this date is pretty close to the summer solstice, the ISS, as it passes over the Earth, over the UK, will be over the top of the shadow at midnight. This means that the ISS will be visible on the 15th of July at 42 minutes past midnight UTC as the ISS passes over the UK. So now you have a golden opportunity to do two things. One, you can observe the ISS pass at midnight and doing this live would be even more fantastic. And you can even get your subs all around the place to report in as well. And two, with a few more people porting in from across the UK and Europe, you will be able to work out the speed of the ISS. You could ask people to simply report what town they're in and what time they see the ISS crossing a like an imaginary north-south line or getting near one of those bright stars as it goes from west to east. Now once you have times and places, speed calculations are simple. If you can't work out how to do it, I'm sure Roof will be able to help you out. So come on Ranty, Rude Earther, you guys can go and flap your mirrors at each other on the beach later. This is your last chance for the next year to do this. Maybe my subs can drop in some lat longs. Now look, you only need the city or the whole number of the lat longs, you don't need to dock yourself. And the time when you see the ISS cross that imaginary north-south line. We can all pump them into my comments and then we can start doing some calculations and work out some speeds. You can also jump on the heavens above link and I'll leave that one in the description as always to get the exact time and date when you should be outside looking for the ISS pass. And you'll notice that there's a lot of these visible passes on the 15th and 16th for the exact reason I've just mentioned. And for those who are in advanced mode playing at home, on the 13th or the 17th, just before and just after this, if you're in the right place at the right time, you might just be able to catch the ISS dipping into the shadow briefly. So it'll come across the sky all nice and bright, go dark, maybe even disappear completely, and then a minute later pop back out again, all in one pass. Now that would be so fun to catch. There you go, Ranty. You are the one who's after all the glow proofs. This is the only one you need to worry about, mate. Okay guys, well that's it. So drop this link in the videos of your favourite flatties and see them do absolutely nothing about it.